Hey, 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 YouTubers! Welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hatfield15 reporting for duty, and today I am here for a quick update video, guys. First off, before I get to any important business, I want to show off some of the Christmas gifts I got for Christmas this year. So, right up over here, as you guys can see, I have a, a book by Scott Kelly called Endurance. I have a Chris Hatfield book called uh, Chris Hatfield, an astronaut's guide to life on Earth. It was a pretty good movie. It was a pretty good book, is what I try to say. I just about said it was a pretty good movie, but they haven't made it into a movie. Well, yet at least. I'm not sure if they'll ever make a Chris Hatfield movie based on this book, but I hope so. I haven't quite gotten to read this, gotten the chance to read this book yet, but hopefully I will in the near future. Alright, so next off, as you guys can see, I have what looks like a normal Death Star right over here, but alas, that's where you're wrong, because this is a Death Star popcorn maker. So I can easily just, uh, pop that off and pop this on, and boom, I have a very own Death Star popcorn maker. So that's, uh... That's pretty good. It's the rebel's worst fears. It's the rebel's worst fears since the original Death Stars and all that stuff. Uh, what else I got other than a whole bunch of gift cards and candy was this uh, nice old toque right here. And it's it's uh, it's actually got a little bit of a light on, so I could press it a few times. It's different levels of light. That's pretty cool. But the perhaps the best gift I got for this year, 2017 Christmas, was perhaps my new gaming throne. As you guys can see right here, it's called the. X Rocker Chair, and the cool thing about this is I can actually hook up my iPod right here that's currently playing music. So just give me a moment to access it, turn this music off, activate my X Rocker, plug it in, prepare for a rip headphone users. Okay, nope, okay, yep, there we go. And now it's actually pumping music from my chair. Just look at it. It's a pretty cool chair. I'm just going to go ahead and say that right now. I've uh, hooked this thing up to my Wii U to play, replay Metroid Prime 2 Echoes for the past little bit, and it is awesome. I don't have it on max volume just because I don't want to blow the speakers on it. Okay, to business. For the month of January, guys, I've got some good news and some bad news. Uh, the bad news is I will not be able to make any videos this month because I have a lot of studying to do for exams. This is grade 10. I've kind of messed up a little bit, and I want to take the studying seriously to make sure I that I get past this semester in grade 10, but I will be back to making regular videos on January 26th when my exam's over. That being said, over the Christmas break, I have pre-recorded all my videos for this month, so I pre-recorded all the videos for Mario Odyssey, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, and all the other videos, so I'll be uploading those videos, uh, I'll be uploading the first video on January 5th, like I promised, it's a fresh episode of Mario Odyssey waiting for you guys. Again, all these videos are pre-recorded, so my commentary may not be up to date if something big happens this month, in which that's part of the good news, because I've been reading a whole bunch of, uh, news documents recently because I'm getting rather excited for Metroid Prime 4. It's been over six months now since Nintendo announced it at the famous E3 2017, which I gotta say looked pretty good, but the, perhaps the biggest bombshell in a lot of our opinions would have to be the two, announcement of the two new Metroid games. But anyways, on to business. I've been reading a lot of rumors and it looks like Nintendo is preparing to release a Metroid Prime 4 official gameplay trailer at an upcoming Nintendo Direct this month, so hopefully uh, with any luck, I'll hopefully be able to do a react video to the official trailer for Metroid Prime 4. I've also been snooping around the internet a bit more, and I found out kind of what's going on, Nana. I'm, okay, sorry, I don't know what I just said there, Nana. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm trying to say is I've been snooping around the internet a bit, and I discovered that maybe Metroid Prime 4 might have something to do with this mysterious bounty hunter we first met in Metroid Prime Hunters. His name is Silux. If you guys don't know who Silux is, for those of you who play Metroid, he's a bounty hunter who, who for some reason really hates the Galactic Federation and by extension Samus. So I've been reading up a whole bunch of these documents, so if you guys want to go check out some of the information that I found, links are in the description below. Make sure you go check it out and reply to me and tell me what you guys think of those uh, interesting news documents. Well, they're not entirely news documents. I found it, some of the documents about Silux on uh, Metroid Wiki, like a Wikipedia for Metroid basically. So again, links in the description below. Exceptionally high for Metroid Prime 4, which will likely be this month in uh, the upcoming Nintendo Direct. Again, all the links are in the description below. My commentary may or may not be up to date, but the videos are still good nevertheless. So hopefully you guys go ahead and enjoy them this month. Again, regular videos will be back on January 26th, but I've also got some great news. The, and that, the NFC Amiibo adapter for the 3DS, which allows me to use the Samus Amiibos for Samus Returns, is finally on its way. So it will be here sometime halfway through the month, so in the episode of Samus Returns, which I'll be making on January 26th when things are back to normal, the adapter will finally be here so I can finally do something I've been meaning to do for a long time, that is use the Amiibos in Metroid Samus Returns. So hopefully that video will be good enough and the Amiibos will work properly after such a long wait. So for now, that's about all the time we've got today, so thank you all for joining me today on this update video. Be sure to subscribe, leave comments down below because I like them, and crank that like button to Max Like Soldier Boy. Till then, I'm Hatfield15. Space out, bros and brositas.